The history of the world has been told in objects, but what about the history of women? Looking at five key items and the ideas they symbolize, this series of films explores the journey of women from second-class citizens with no legal rights, no vote and no official status to the powerful people they are today. This very spectacular dress is designed to be worn by Lady Curzon at a big ball on New Year's Day in 1903. The ball is part of a sort of two-week festival, Duba as they call it, which is celebrating Edward VII having taken over as the new king and the new emperor of India. This dress is phenomenal to look at. It's made of peacock feathers with emeralds. It's got gold thread, it's got silver thread. It's got all this fancy lace in the top part of the bodice. It's incredibly heavy. So it was actually about 10 pounds in weight to wear. She's certainly very active in the, in the constructing of the dress. It's not like Lord Curzon bought it and told her to wear it. You know, she will have ordered it, she will have chosen it. She wears it to make this huge entrance. The whole thing looks quite spectacular, apparently. People, you know, draw breath when they see her come in. And she is there as the wife of the Viceroy, but most importantly, the symbol of the British Empire at the point that we're, we're crowning a new king. You've got two levels of importance in this dress. First of all, you've got Lord Curzon himself, who, like many a wealthy man, is using almost their, their wife to display their wealth and their significance and their importance. Then you've got a really big statement being made to India. This is the most significant part of the British Empire. And so this dress and the woman wearing it are all about Britain and its place in India, that the empire is, is, is alive and kicking, so to speak, um, that the British value India, but also are very determined to show that their stamp is on this country, their culture, their hierarchy. The dress, the expense of it, the expense of the, the, the Duba altogether, which is 180,000, they're rumoured to be five million pounds. Uh, they make people feel that it's very much about the Lord Curzon show, rather than being about um, the Crown and British imperialism. And that produces a lot of resentment within the British um, upper classes, really, and those who are in India. But I think also it's very problematic in India itself because there's all this money being spent and within yards, miles of it, you have famine, you have deprivation. The dress then looks, by comparison, so excessive. I think to me the dress is really important because it reminds us of the active role that women have taken in, in imperialism. They've not just been on the periphery, they've been in the heart of it, they've participated in it, and they have colluded in the incredible levels of inequality that imperialism was all about. A History of Women in 100 Objects is now available to buy on Amazon and at all good bookshops.